Mixed emotions, really. Obviously disappointed, first and foremost. Uh, feels like we've we've lost again. Um, but also incredibly proud and pleased of the way that we played. Um, for me, the game turned on the goalkeeper making an unbelievable save off Craig Hobson um, at, at a moment when we were fully in control and on top of the game. If that goes 2-0, it's, it's game over. Um, but you know that's what happens against good teams when you you don't kill games off. Because um, I felt we were we were dominant for 65, 70 minutes, and um, you know credit to them at the end because I think they're unbeaten now in 12 for around the FA Cup full time. You know and we're absolutely gutted that we've that we've drawn. So um, you know credit to the players. I'm so pleased with the performance. It's the best performance since I've come back to the club. Um, you know, to, to dominate a game, be so on top and look quite comfortable and, and solid throughout. Um, I think it's something that we've got to take the positives from, you know, hurt a little bit from it, um, learn and try and replicate that kind of performance now, week in, week out, if we can. Yeah, so, uh, despite the disappointment late like, equaliser, uh, when the dust has settled, overall that is a good result for the team? Um. Some people might think so. If you're really watching the game, I think you'd, you'd say it's, it's not a great point um, because, you know, as I said, I, I felt we were, I felt we were the better team, you know, right from the off, pretty much till the 65, 70 minute mark. And, um, you know, we, we always kind of knew coming into the game today that we were going to be a little bit light on bodies, not going to have, you know, too many options off the bench in terms of coming on and changing the game. I mean, we've got lads like Scott Wilson who, trying to build his minutes up and ideally he wouldn't have played 90 today but then Matty Waters has gone down Jordan Lussie's gone down and we were kind of a little bit patched up towards the end and them kind of having that that strong finish probably having a few more options off the bench than we did probably being full time and having a couple of recovery days our lads have put everything in on Saturday second half at Hereford to get us a you know an hard earned point and travelled back being in work for a couple of days and Maybe that just took its toll in that last 15 minutes of the game. But um, all in all, I think we've got to be proud of the, of the team, the way that we played. Yeah, we should be disappointed because we were the better team and we should have won the game. But um, we've just got to take the positives and, and move on. Yeah. So uh, set pieces have been something that's benefiting you a lot recently. I mean, you've scored from one today. Is this something you think you can take forward and benefit from in the future? Well, to be fair, I think the team's been effective from set players all season. And... Um, you know, since we came in, we've not really changed um, anything because, you know, what, what they were kind of doing was working. But we've got to give credit to, you know, the staff, Jack in particular, because he, you know, he works on them with the lads at the end of training and they have been incredibly effective for us. So, um, you know, I know that they've been a really, you know, important source of goals for us um, in recent weeks. But um, we've also looked more of a threat in open play as well. And, you know, eventually the players are going to get some reward from that and once we start contributing more goals in, in general play as well as set players then we'll start to put points back on the board. Uh, it must be hard to single out one player as your man of the match today so you must be proud of the overall team and their performance today. Absolutely, can't single out anyone. I thought everybody was was excellent, You know, competed right across the pitch, played to a good shape, um, good in possession, made good decisions with and without the ball in the main. Uh, looked to threat throughout the game, kept our, you know, threat threatening players in the game. Uh, Adam Thomas, uh, Jack McKay, Alex Curran, Craig Hobson, you know, and the lads at the back were were assured and looked quite comfortable against. I think I'm right in saying that the the joint highest scorers in the league uh, we filed, and um, you know the three that play in behind Morgan Smith are, are as good as anything in the division, and I think our lads have done a. Really, really good job today, keeping them, keeping them quiet and at bay. So, pleased with the whole team. It's a real good team performance. We just needed that little bit of luck at the end there, where I think we've tried to clear our lines from the corner. It's hit the back of one of our own men and ended up in the goal. And said to the players there at the end, you know, when when teams are having such great runs and seasons like they are, 
um, things kind of go the way a little bit at times, but um, and we're maybe on the opposite side of that at the minute where we're conceding a few soft goals and one or two little errors. We're not really getting the rubble of the green uh, at times, but it'll turn if we keep on playing and applying ourselves like we did. It'll turn. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, uh, we had a fair few players in the wars tonight. Is there anything serious that have come out from any of the players tonight? Um, we've got obviously Jack Mackay. I mean, he's he's been he's been snapped. How it's not a a foul and then but then b a, a booking. I have no idea. You know, it's 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 some of the some of the referees' decisions in that first fifteen minutes of the second half were bizarre. Don't know what he was watching. We should have had a penalty on Craig Hobson. You know, he's put his body between the defender and the ball. He's gone down. Anywhere else on the pitch, it's a free kick. The one on Jack Mackay now could cost us because we he might be out for a game or two and he's gone right through the back of him. He's smashed him at the top of his calf. It's it's a joke, you know. Again, anywhere else on the pitch and it's it's a free kick and a yellow card. So can't get me head around that one. Um, Matty Waters, Jordan Lussie have come off with tight groins. We'll have to just see how they settle down the next couple of days and, and you know, reassess from there. Uh, Pleasing thing is that Scott Wilson's come through 90 minutes unscathed, um, which is a real, you know, positive step in the right direction for him because I think he's been he's been outstanding tonight and again on Saturday when he came on. Um, you know, Hobbo's got 90 minutes in, in the locker there, although we were a bit bit fatigued in the last 10-15 minutes or so. But we're just gonna have to see how everybody is tomorrow. Um might be a busy couple of days on the phone for me, but I, I don't like just bringing bodies in for the sake of it. You know, we want to bring players in and, and, and grow the squad as we feel we need to, not because we've got a pile up of, of injuries. But right now, that's where we are. And um, we might have to get some, some bodies in because we've got a very um, big game at the weekend and, and a very hectic schedule over Christmas and New Year.